everyone, it's Skidoo, and as you can see, I have gotten a ring light. Look at me being all legit and shit. What? <laughs> um, anyways, so this video is going to be a little bit different than my normal stuff. If you are normally here for anime-related goodness and video game-related stuff, unboxings and whatnot, I'm going to be talking about books today, so if that also interests you, feel free to stick around and keep watching this video. I'd really appreciate it. Um, if you are here for the book stuff and you've never been on my channel, welcome to my channel. Uh, if you're interested in anime related stuff, anime and video game related stuff, check out my other videos. I do a lot of unboxings and like sort of product reviews of things that interest you. Stick around. Give me a subscribe. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> um, for this video, I'm actually going to be talking about the reading rush for 2020. I've never participated in a reading rush before, but I'm super excited to do it this year. I'm finally getting kind of back into reading since doing university kind of kills your love for reading, unfortunately. Uh, so I haven't really been reading a ton lately. So the reading rush is this really cool thing where they have like a bunch of challenges that you can do within the week that the reading rush takes place in. So it's from the 20th of July to the 26th of July. It is a full seven days and they give you seven different challenges to complete throughout the seven days. I'll actually link the website for the reading rush down in the description below. So you guys can check that out if you're interested in doing the reading rush as well. I'm really pumped just cause like having an event with a bunch of other readers doing it, never done it before. Also, it'll kind of force me to read quite a bit in one week which is what I need. I need a little bit of push right now. Um, so the first challenge is actually read a book with a cover that matches your birthstone. Don't mind me looking down here. I have the list of the challenges, but it's very far away and like hard for me to see because of the ring light. Um, so for that one, I've actually picked... Okay, so here's the story of that. I was gonna pick Wayward Son because I've read Carry On a few years back when it came out and I really wanted to read Wayward Son. And I was super pumped and I was like, okay, perfect. It's yellow, which is, I was born in November, um, which you probably don't know. So my birthstone is citrine or topaz, depending on who you're asking, I guess. So I was like, perfect. I'm going to read Wayward Sun. It's also going to be in another continent because it's in the UK. And then I realized that this one is taking place in the States because they're on a road trip in the States. So that ruined my like double up there because I have to be strategic with this because I ain't gonna read seven books in seven days. That's just not feasible for me. It's feasible for some people. Unfortunately, I'm not that fast at reading and my brain wanders. So I'm gonna try to keep it down to four books. We'll see how I feel. Um, so yeah, this was originally the first option since it does not take place in another continent, which is another one of the challenges. We'll get to that. I decided I'll just reread Carry On. Uh, let's pretend that this is mostly yellow because it's mostly yellow. Okay, we're just gonna say, I know it's technically like white with yellow and blue, but I'm just gonna, for the sake of this, pretend, wait, look, it's also yellow on the inside, okay? So it matches my birthstone. That's what I'm going with. And it also takes place in the UK, like a fantasy UK, but the UK. So cool, that is for the first challenge. Also, please, leave in the description or in the, in the comments below what you're going to be reading for the reading rush if you plan on doing it as well i'd love to hear some of your guys's tbrs so please do that um the next one is read a book that starts with the word the so for that one i decided i'm going to be reading one of these graphic novels so either the adventure zone volume one or the backstages volume one maybe some later volumes depending on how I feel that day. <laughs> I might read more, I might read less. I mean not less, I'll at least read one of these, but I might read more than that, we'll see. That is these two. I'm gonna actually just continue down the list and we'll kind of come back to them and how they relate to the other challenges. The next challenge for number three is read a book that's inspired a movie you've already seen but haven't read the book. So for me, I have seen Howl's Moving Castle a bunch of times, never read the book. I've literally owned this for probably three years. I don't know why I've never read it. So I'm going to be reading this guy here because you know what? It might actually also work for the continent thing if you're being creative and you're saying it's technically fantasy. 
So it's technically not in the continent that you live on. Actually, it might also be the UK. I don't know. I think the author is British. Don't quote me on that. But this is going to be that one. So I'm very excited because I've always wanted to read it. But I haven't. So that is this movie inspired book. Or sorry, book inspired the movie that I've seen. I haven't read the book. And then the next one is read the first book you touch. So I'm going to like maybe cheat. Again, they they seem pretty lenient on the rules, so I'm going to kind of bend them a tiny bit. Um, again, I had a hard time finding books that start with the word the that I haven't already read that are like feasible to read in the the time limit of the reading rush. And since I'm stuck between two graphic novels, I think what I'm going to do is have a family member or a friend just kind of like hold them and swap them around and then I'll just close my eyes and kind of like reach out and whichever one I touch first will be the one that I read for the reading rush for that challenge as well as starting with the so that is another strategic kind of efficient thing that I am gonna do for that so to keep my reading stuff down and the next one is read a book completely outside of your house actually that's also going to be one of these so whichever one I pick um just because I don't like being outside. <laughs> Surprise! I know, um, very surprising. But yeah, so I'm gonna be reading one of the shorter ones, whichever one I end up picking. I'll read that completely outside of my house. I know a lot of people can't do that right now because of COVID. I do have a backyard, so I am privileged in that sense. So I'm just gonna sit on my back step or maybe at our little table with the umbrella, like the backyard table, patio table. I could sit at our patio table if it's not raining and read one of these completely outside of the house. <sighs> Which low-key is my most dreaded challenge, <laughs> just being outside. <laughs> I just hope it's not too hot because I hate the heat. I might just sit for an evening when it's cooler. Anyways, that's going to be for that. So that kind of takes three challenges. Um, starts with the word the. Read a book completely outside your house and first touch. So that's how I'm doing that. The next challenge is read a book in a genre that you've always wanted to read more of. I don't have the book on me at the moment. I'm going to be listening to the audiobook and hopefully I'm going to pick up the book before the reading rush starts and I like to sit down and um, follow along with the audiobook with the physical book. I'm going to be reading Over the Top by Jonathan Van Ness. Very excited. I've always, always wanted to read a little bit more of like nonfiction stuff. I'm not super interested in nonfiction, but I am interested in reading a memoir of Jonathan Van Ness, who is one of the members of the Fab Five from Queer Eye. I love Queer Eye. I love Jonathan. He's fantastic, super inspiring. So I'm very excited excited to read his story um or I guess listen slash read we'll see how that goes uh if I don't get the book in time at least I have the audiobook so I can still listen to the audiobook either way uh so that's gonna be really exciting too and then the last challenge is to read a book that takes place on a continent where you do not currently live so that again was going to be what I did with well, what I was gonna do with Wayward Son, but now I'm going to be doing with Carry On. So that is in the UK. I'm like pretty sure. <laughs> uh, so I'll be doing that. Also, Carry On by Rainbow Rowell. If you haven't read that, this TBR is all over the place. I didn't even say authors for most of them. It's fine. This is about like magical wizards like a harry potter-esque thing but also there's a gay romance so we're all about that i'm sure most of you know about how's moving castle super magical there's a wizard and a moving castle and a girl who gets turned into an old lady and it's a love story we're all about that the adventure zone i believe was a podcast of a D, &D campaign um, I've always meant to listen to the D&D campaign, but I, I haven't listened to the podcast, so I'm probably just gonna read this and then listen to the podcast later. Who knows? But that's what that is about, a fun D&D campaign. Um, and then the backstage is, is just about a bunch of, like, junior high kids in... I think, is it junior high kids or high school kids? I think they're junior high kids. Whatever. The art style is super cute and, like, like little chunky art style. It's really, it's really adorable. 
kind of like this. <laughs> but yeah, I'm super pumped for this one as well. But a bunch of kids in drama class. I was in drama class, grade eight, grade nine, and the first semester of grade 10. Uh, super fun. Realized I don't really like being on stage, but <laughs> doesn't matter. Had a good time in that class. So that's what's going on there. Um, again, I guess you could be kind of creative and just say that both of these or one of these is in a different continent because it's technically fantasy. Um, I mean, this is also technically fantasy, but I think it still takes place in like a more realistic UK like Harry Potter does. So I'm pretty sure it takes place in the UK. And if it doesn't, and I'm a big dummy, you know what? It doesn't matter because I'll just pretend that one of the fantasy ones is in a different continent. So we're gonna, we're gonna just go with that. So that is my TBR for the reading rush. Please comment down below and let me know if you guys are participating and what books you are getting into. The reading rush website will also be linked in the description below so you guys can check that out if you haven't yet and you want to see what's going on. There's also a ton of other events that are going on throughout the week that I'm not quite sure of the details on, but you can check those out as well. And if you want to join them, feel free. Also with the reading outside one, they are being a little lenient on it. If you don't actually have the opportunity to read outside, you can kind of find some loopholes in that and still stay inside while making it seem like you're outside to still get the badge. I also forgot to mention, that you get badges for all of the challenges you complete. And if that's not perfect for a gamer like myself, I don't know what is, it's like getting trophies for playing games or getting achievements. And I'm all about that. Give me the trophies, but it's for reading. If that's not exciting, I don't know what is. Also again, if you're interested in any of my other content, please subscribe, join my weeb family. Um, I might be posting some more book related stuff as time goes on. We will see how I feel about that, but that might happen. Uh, yeah. And for those of you who stuck through this video, but you're not really here for reading, um, thank you. <laughs> thank you. That means hopefully you're just here because you like me and that's really cool. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I'm very happy with my reading list for books hopefully is the goal. Maybe more with the graphic novels, depending on how I feel that day. Uh, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. I will link all of my social media in the description below. You can check out my other videos at your leisure, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye!